Well, it's that time of that time of day again where I have to make fun of some feminist. And I got a really nice intro for it too. Wait, I already shown another intro, didn't I? Back in my other video about um common arguments against feminism. Well, this video is for Feminazi Fridays. May not be the best intro in the world, but it certainly is an intro. Better intro than yours, actually, because, you know, it's an intro. What do you have? Nothing. You got nothing. Nothing. So, let's just show the intro, and then I'll just continue on with the ponage. Shut the fuck up for a second! It's Do you want to be paid less than someone else for doing the same job? And ignore every fact that shows that women get paid less not because of vagina, but because their bodies are completely different. They tend to work less and, you know, they don't work overtime as much as men do. You know, same. Do you want to be considered a second class citizen? Do you want to be treated differently just because of the way you were born? I know I don't want any of that. Thankfully, I have a friend who helps me fight against things like this. Well, is your friend alcohol? Because it would make a lot of sense. Some people are still shocked to hear that the friend I'm talking about is none other than feminism. <gasps> no! This is Maddie Clark, and I'm here to tell you that despite any bad reps it may have, feminism is a movement that should be taken seriously. Oh yeah, let's, you know, just look at the positives and not, and just forget about the negatives of feminism, you know? Maybe we should just do the exact same thing, like maybe communism, you know? Maybe we should just focus on the good rather than the bad, so that way, you know, we don't have to deal with the bad. Why do I have this feeling that you remind me so freaking much about feminist frequency? I mean, you sit on a chair, you have a blank, blank, you know, a blank background, and I, 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 you just, no, 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 just no. So what is feminism anyway? The problem is, not everyone has the right idea. Teresa Schechter made a video on YouTube documenting a few New Yorkers' responses when asked, what do you think a feminist is? The general response can be summed up by one interviewee's statement, that feminism was a group of militant, angry women trying to get their way in the world. And the funny thing is, I don't blame them. I mean, we've seen feminists do, you know, protest against the MRA. We have feminists, you know, being all this violent, angry assholes. I, I already did a video where a feminist actually threatened to kill a female uh, member of the MRA. I mean, not the MRA, the MRM. And... and you know, she looks like a totally normal person. I, I was actually outraged and disgusted that this person would actually go as far as to say that feminism was for equality until they real until that person realized that it's not enough that they bring, you know, equality. No, no, no. They have to bring they have to find a way to kill her and write rules in her own blood. Yes. I, I'm I'm not joking. I, I I'll send you the link if you Unfortunately for this individual, that's not what feminism stands for. Everyday Feminism, an online magazine, stated that their goal was to end the everyday violence, discrimination, and marginalization used against people due to their gender, sexual orientation, race, and class. Well, if that's the case, why haven't they done anything in third world countries where women are truly, they, they, they are truly oppressed? I mean, this is something that you just can't ignore. I mean, why focus here in America when the problem is way larger in third world countries? What, are you saying that, you're, that your needs are more important than the needs of others who are far less fortunate to be born in a third world country where um, women are literally just nothing more than sexual objects or nothing more than just objects, you know, where is feminism in that, huh? I, I don't see how feminism is going to help the cause. You know, feminism is not the cure. It is the disease. 
Also, according to a feminism website, Feminist.com, it stated that their group was created to give people access to anything that could support a world where men and women are allied, empowered, and equal. All I have to say is bullshit. If that wasn't enough, it might help to know that many feminists' main goals involve getting rid of sexism and oppression for all races and genders. And guess what? I've seen the tactics that feminists have made. They dehumanized the everyday white male into thinking that they're nothing more than, than a, a piece of shit for treating women and other races as pieces of shit. And we have, we actually have men who feel like they're pieces of shit because of feminism. I don't like the tactics that feminists enjoy abusing and they call it equality. No, it is not equality, especially when you're trying to make one gender feel like it's a piece of shit. Not only that, but feminists help pass laws against sexual assault, child molestation, body image issues, street harassment, and domestic violence. I also call bullshit on that one. I mean, really? I, I find that really hard to believe. And even if it was true, it doesn't mean that I just supposed to ignore the bad side of feminism. I mean, just passing a few laws that, you know, any group of people could do, <clears throat> whatever it's a fem feminist movement, uh, equalist movement, a MRA movement, it doesn't matter anyone if, if, it, if there's a large group of people you know working together to end this shit then it doesn't have to be a feminist group just letting you know so the next time you think of feminism don't think of the stereotypes the media or hateful groups have pressured you to believe are true instead think of your roommate or the woman across the hall or even that guy you talked to once in the cafeteria think of feminism as your friend I see feminism as a massive poison to the mind. If you call yourself a feminist, you start to be more poison every time that you try to go deeper into feminism. I mean, it makes you a monster. It turns you inside out. It turns you into a hypocrite. It turns you into, you know, something that's obviously not human. And there, I can tell that there's still time to save you because you're not, you know, a complete bigot. You know, you're just trying to promote something that, you know, you think it works, but obviously it doesn't necessarily work. Look, I understand that we, you know, that we shouldn't focus only on the bad things in feminism. I understand. If it's a minor problem in feminism, you know, if the bad things were minor problems, then I would have been happy to call myself a feminist. But the problem is that the bad things about feminism is not a minor problem, but it's a massive problem. It's a major problem because we just can't take it seriously on how stupid that these people have said. The wage gap argument has been overused. It's been proven wrong by statistics. The, the 77 thing, 77 cents thing is not necessarily accurate because there are jobs out there that actually pay women a little bit more and uh, pay women a little bit less depending on the job. I mean, believe it or not, construction workers, female construction workers only get paid 90 cents um, compared to, to men. But that is because men still do more work than women by comparison. So again, how dare we gain extra cash? I'm not trying to make fun of you, but I am trying to show you that feminism is not exactly what you say it is. And fight for a future that's equal and safe for everyone.